good morning students in last class we discussed about the types of semiconductors in this we discussed about intrinsic semiconductors today we will discuss semiconductors intrinsic semiconductor has very limited applications as they connect to very small amount of current at room temperature the current conduction capability of intrinsic semiconductor can be increased significantly by adding a small amount of impurity to the intrinsic semiconductor. By adding impurities, it becomes impure or extrinsic semiconductor. This process of adding impurities is called doping. The amount of impurity added is one part in 10 power 6 atoms. So in this extensive semiconductor, based on the what kind of impurity added to the pure semiconductor. So here we may add two types of impurities that are fifth group and third group element. So when you are adding the fifth group elements to the pure semiconductor, that semiconductor become N type semiconductor. When you are adding the third group materials to the pure semiconductor, that will become P type semiconductor. In this N type semiconductor, if the added impurity is a pentavalent atom, then the resultant semiconductor is called N type semiconductor. Examples of pentavalent impurities are nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, and bismuth. Here, nitrogen cannot be used as impurity because it does not have tendency to donate electron. Phosphorus and arsenic are commonly used pentavalent impurities, and antimony is rarely used because it is heavy metal. Bismuth is not used because it can exhibit radioactivity. Addition of pentavalent impurities will introduce a field energy level slightly below the conduction band. It is called donor energy level. The difference between donor energy level and Conduction band energy level is ionization energy. So, energy band diagram of N type semiconductor. In this valency band, upper band is conduction band, we know. In this, when we are adding the impurities or pentavalent elements to the intrinsic semiconductor, that donor energy level will be added below the conduction band here it is mentioned with the arrow mark or dotted lines the conduction energy level the gap between the ed and ec is called ionization energy this small ionization energy will be available in the form of thermal energy at room temperature. Hence, all electrons present in donor energy level will move into conduction band. Thus, concentration of free electrons in, con in conduction band increases. Due to increase in electron concentration, recombination rate also increases. Therefore, a few of electrons will recombine with holes present in valence band. Due to this hole concentration decreases and becomes less than the intrinsic carrier concentration. Here you can observe the doping stereo or antimony with silica. When pentavalent impurity is added to a semiconductor either through 
diffusion method or through ion implantation method the added impurity will displace a semiconductor atom it forms four covalent bonds we know in silicon we have the four electrons various electrons and in this tbm we are having five and out of five we are using only four to make the covalent bonds and remaining fifth element fifth electron donates through the semiconductor crystal this donated electron will fall into free space or it behaves as a free electron now the pentavalent impurity is donor impurity because it donates the electron in n-type material free electrons are called majority charge carriers and holes are called minority carriers so without supplying the thermal energy we already having the free electrons in the crystal so when we are supplying the thermal energy again covalent, covalent bond will broken and that covalent bond electrons will move into the free space the electron becomes the free electron and empty space become whole so when you are observing from the intrinsic to n type semiconductor here the concentration of free electrons is more why because already one electron is donated by the this stevium yes so the majority of the charge carriers in the n type semiconductor or electrons that's why it is n type the charge of the material is negative or n is more at very low temperature impurity ionization will be neg negligible when temperature is increased impurity ionization increases next p type semiconductor if the added impurity is trivalent atom then the resultant semiconductor is called p type semiconductor examples of trivalent impurities are boron aluminum gallium indium and thallium so to make the p type semiconductor we need to dope the pure semiconductor with the third group elements in this third group we are having boron aluminum gallium indium and thallium in this boron aluminum and gallium are commonly used trivalent impurities in case of silicon boron is preferred as trivalent impurity because boron is available as gas in the form of diboron addition of trivalent impurity will introduce a empty energy level slightly above the valency band it is called acceptor energy level because it can accept electrons from valency band when electrons more into acceptor level the large number of holes or empty levels will appear in the valency band so now you can observe the energy band diagram of p type semiconductor in this p type semiconductor when we are adding the third group elements or when we are doping the third group elements into the pure semiconductor the acceptor energy level will be added above the valency band why because in this third group elements we are having only three valency electrons our pure semiconductor having four electrons so out of four only three electrons can form the covalent bonds one is empty energy level that empty energy level is nothing but hole hole only yes so when we are adding the third group elements to the pure semiconductor that empty energy level will be added above the valency band that means 
the holes are added in the valency band. Thus, the addition of trivalent impurities will increase the concentration of holes in valency band, whereas concentration of electrons in conduction band decreases because a few of holes recombine with electrons. Now we can observe the silicon is doped with boron. In p-type materials, holes become majority charge carriers and electrons become minority charge carriers. In semiconductor crystal, trivalent impurity will displace a semiconductor atom. It forms three covalent bonds and fourth covalent bond remains incomplete which will act as hole. Due to thermal energy, a bound electron from neighborhood atom can jump into incomplete bond and thereby trivalent impurity will accept this electron hence it is called acceptor impurity hence it is called acceptor impurity so from this video the majority charge carriers in the entire materials are electrons and the minority charge gas in the p-type material are holes. The minority charge gas in the n-type material are holes. The minority charge gas in p-type material are electrons. So, why we are prefer the why we are making the extensive semiconductors to improve the conductivity of the materials? We are going with the extensive to make the n-type semiconductor. We need to dope the fifth group elements with pure semiconductor. To make the p type semiconductor material, we need to dope third group elements to the semiconductor. Clear? Thank you.